and welcome to Sky News Night. These are our top stories tonight. Never to assume that terrorist incidents can't take place in this country. We should not be complacent. Australian Link, a Gold Coast doctor arrested over British terror plot. High alert, British authorities continue terror raids in the search for answers. Clean up costs, Victoria's flooded Gippsland region assesses the damage. And in sports night, Lottie De Kiri suspended for the rest of the Tri-Nations rugby series. A scare for Queensland ahead of Origin 3. Plus Collingwood's Alan Didak avoids suspension and is banned from drinking for the rest of the season. Sky weather, the national forecast, showers across the south with gales in South Australia, showers easing in the west. This is Sky News Night with Michael Willisey and Suzanne Latimer. Good evening. Australian Federal Police are investigating the connection between the British terror plots and a 27-year-old Indian doctor who'd been working as a registrar at the Gold Coast Hospital. Stay with us here on Sky News after the break. Business with Bridie Barry and the Reserve Bank tipped to deliver good news on interest rates for home buyers tomorrow. In sport with Paul Gregg, a blow for the Bombers with their skipper suspended by the Tribunal. Stories. Australian Federal Police are investigating the connection between the British terror plots and a 27-year-old Indian doctor who'd been working as a registrar at the Gold Coast Hospital. British anti-terrorist units have now raided 19 locations, including suburban homes and hospitals, as they gather evidence. And the mop-up continues around Victoria's Gippsland region, with the damage bill from the floods expected to top $30 million. The Wednesday weather forecast showers across the south with gales in South Australia, showers easing in the west. To business news now with Bridie Barry. Big changes ahead for an Aussie media icon. Yes, Southern Cross Broadcasting. It's set to be bought by Macquarie Media and Fairfax Media, who will then split up its assets. I'll have more in Business Night. Sky News Business Night. Australian stocks posted solid gains thanks to a good lead from Wall Street and strong performances from the big miners. Stay with us here on Sky News Night. Top stories again after the break. Also coming up, longer hours, less money. Students hit out at work choices. Headlines on Sky News Night. Australian Federal Police are investigating the connection between the British terror plots and a 27-year-old Indian doctor who had been working as a registrar at the Gold Coast Hospital. British anti-terror units have now raided 19 locations, including suburban homes and hospitals, as they gather further evidence. And the mop-up continues around Victoria's Gippsland region, with the damage bill from the floods expected to top $30 million. The weather, showers across the south with gales in South Australia and showers easing in the west. Well, thanks for being with us. A Queensland doctor has been arrested and another is being quizzed over the botched terror attacks in London and Glasgow. This is Sky News Sports Night. Collingwood has balked at slapping a suspension on Alan Didak, instead imposing a series of strict conditions including a season-long ban on alcohol. Yes, so just confirming, barring any protests, the Swiss and Alinghi have held on to the America's Cup. An incredible final race because New Zealand had a protest flag against them Amazing. and had to do a total 360 just in oh front of the line. finish line and the Swiss grabbed them. And he said sailing wasn't exciting. Well, exactly that, right. That's, that's a heartbreaker. That's like a uh, Scott Staniforth try with five minutes to go. Gee, you're rubbing it in now, aren't you? <laughs> oh, but uh, an incredible final race. Zealand, yeah, yeah, it is. But we'll hear a lot more about it through, uh, throughout the stuff, day. Exciting stuff. Yeah, it was. Thanks, okay. Paul. Let's take a very quick look at the Wednesday weather forecast. Showers across the south with some gales in South Australia. Showers easing in the west. Recapping our top stories for you here on News Night. A 27-year-old Gold Coast doctor arrested with suspected links to the UK terror plot is still being questioned by federal police. Meantime, Britain remains on high terror alert as authorities continue to carry out raids across the UK. Seven people are in custody over the foiled terror plots. 
And residents in Victoria's Gippsland are starting to count the cost of the region's devastating floods. The state government expects claims to top $30 million. Thanks for your company here on Sky News. Do stay with us. We'll have more for you shortly.